How's it going everyone? Hope you guys are doing well, and here are my thoughts on my third animation, Wrecked. My inspiration, it really isn't much of an inspiration, it's just that this is the next lesson for me to learn, and that is the pendulum. I think I'm saying that right. The pendulum is where you have a string, and then you have an object on the other end, and it swings back and forth. Um, and what's good about learning how to animate a pendulum is the physics. So like when the ball or whatever is up in the air, it is like, like the physics then like stops and then there's the ease in and ease out. Um, and so yeah, that was the next lesson for me to learn. And it's like, okay, how do I get a story out of just doing a pendulum animation? And that's how you got wrecked. So I will say the pendulum, I, I would say is good. I did have a little bit of experience with the pendulum before. And in fact, I'll show you right now, this animation that you see right here, I actually made back in September of 2020. And this was kind of my first run of the pendulum animation. So I returned to this animation and added more to it, added a little bit of a story, added some camera movements, um, and made you know something different out of this. So other than the actual movement of the ball, like that I'm pretty proud of, the other thing I'm really pleased with is when the wall opens up its mouth. Like it really shows like the power and the force of the mouth opening up. And the other part too that I'm kind of surprised myself with is how I was able to do it in a 3D space. I um, thought I was going to do it like in 2D, you know, like Pac-Man style, but I decided let's throw a little 3D in there and um, yeah, I mean, I probably could have spent a little more time with like the intricacies and maybe had a little like darker shade to the end of the mouth, like where the throat is. But other than that, again, I'm very pleased with um, how that ended up. So the one thing that I can definitely work on is shading. Now shading was not my focus this week. I was going to have that be more of a focus later on. Um, but I decided just for giggles and the reason why is um, as you saw in the majority of the animation like there I decided to play it with different colors and different hues. Um, the one part that I know is not realistic is like when the ball hits the wall the ball itself would also be darker as well because there's no light hitting like the front of the ball when it's next to the wall um, but my focus on that was just being more consistent with the shading because at this point what I'm thinking is the light is on the right side and that's why like or no was it the right no I'm sorry the, the shading the darker side was on and then the light was more on the front more the front left so yeah, and even as I'm talking about it now, I know I'm still a novice with shading. Um, but as I said, one week I will have a focus on nothing but shading. Um, and I'll get better. That, that, that I really don't have any um, problems, like, accepting that I'm not necessarily big. Uh, I mean, I'm big on shading, but not now. Okay, so my final thoughts, and just to kind of let you guys know what's going on. Um, so I have been grinding like these last few weeks. Um, and as I mentioned in the previous thoughts video, I am awake at 4.30 in the morning to animate. And I will admit, I do feel like I am overdoing it with, you know, animating and then work. And then like when I get home from work, like I, I do want to like crash, but at the same time, it's also like the nightlife and it's like, oh, you gotta do stuff. But it's like, I do feel like I'm constantly on. Um, and I know that's not good for me. Yeah, I know it's not. But the thing is, and the reason why I keep going is when I'm awake in the morning and I when I have that one to two hours to work with to animate, um, like I genuinely feel good. Like I love doing it. I love, you know, being in the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I seriously do love it. 
I still need to, of course, work on, you know, my routine and, of course, you know, like how far can I push myself. Um, but I also know that working on these animations, like it is someone that I genuinely do enjoy. And, of course, I do want to do, you know, as a living. So the last thing I do want to talk about, and it's really funny. When I tell people that I'm an animator and I am working on my animation skills, they immediately go to the business side. They think like, oh, you got to have all these portfolios for all these different studios or if you want to be an entrepreneur. And like the fact of the matter is I do not care about that right now. I genuinely do not care right now. I have screwed myself over the last few years of creating and that is the number one thing I enjoy is making stuff and right now that is my focus. I want to create these animated shorts and I want to do this for the time being and again they're not being monetized so YouTube is probably not going to share these and thus they're not getting that many views um, but I don't care right now. I don't care like I'm just more worried about just getting content out there and proving that I can do this. Like I can storytell, I can make things move. Um, and I know that I can do it, but I know that it is going to be a process. I mean, we've only have three animations in so far, which is progress. Like it is absolutely progress. Um, but I know that we still have a ways to go. So, um, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments section down below. Um, yeah, right now with social media, the only real areas I'm pursuing, like YouTube right now is my main focus. I want to work on that and I want to focus on YouTube still. Um, with Twitter and Instagram, um, I do have platforms on there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share like links in those areas. And I, at some point I will have more behind the scenes stuff, but I want to continue to get comfortable animating and get comfortable with this routine and it's like excuse me and i want to be able to as i just said get comfortable with it so then then once i'm more comfortable then i can show you more like the behind the scenes intricacies of everything that i've been doing um so yeah shorter video but that's my goal like this these this thoughts videos are just thoughts on this and just kind of what's going on. I don't want it to be long. I don't want to have like a freaking documentary on every single thoughts video, but you know, just something 10 minutes or less just to get my thoughts out and also just let you guys know um, what's going on as well. So um, yeah, and that's really it. Just taking it one step at a time, figuring everything out, figuring myself out as I've been talking verbatim and um, Slowly but surely, I am definitely like enjoying this process. Of course, I want to do this like forever. Like I, if I can, you know, quit my job and animate for, you know, the time being, fantastic, let's go. But I know that's not the case. And at some point I will have to make some decisions. So, all right, I'm going to stop talking there. If you guys have any thoughts, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll say the cliche thing, make sure you hit that like button and I'm sorry, I hate doing this, but I, I, I know that everyone else is doing it, so I might as well join the party. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Um, these videos do come out once a week and um, yeah, I think that is it. Um, thank you to those of you that have stuck around. I, again, I know this shift is difficult. Um, but again, I definitely feel more comfortable with this change. So, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. And this is Griff Dog saying so long. Until next time.